Hey everybody, got to make you five years and looks like EA is being sued yet again. The reason for that is because the executives sold thousands of shares before Battlefield 4. If you don't know what shares are, it's basically like the stock market to raise up the value of the company. That's what really helps the company out is the stock value. If you want to know more about that, go look up stock value and stocks and stuff. Cause I really can't explain it that well because I don't know it. I don't know too much about stocks myself, but anyway, they sold thousands of shares ahead of Battlefield 4 release, and of course you guys know Battlefield 4 was buggy as hell at, well, since the start, the and because of that, DICE and the EA decided they're not going to work on any new game or work on any DLC until Battlefield is completely fixed. Now that just brought the value of the company and the stock market down dramatically and now the people that bought the thousands of shares that DICE, I mean EA put out ahead of Battlefield are upset and they want their money back so they're gonna sue. Now with this it seems like Battle the EA is gonna have a lot of trouble. I mean they if they never would have done this none of this would even happen but EA is greedy they want money so they said fuck it we're trying to trying to make money and hopefully not get in trouble. The original release date for Battlefield 4, I guess, was December. It looks like it because this, this game still has some little bit of bugs here and there. I mean, if they were released it in December, they probably would have lost some sales because um, Call of Duty came out before, but at least it would be more, much more better than the state it is. And I mean, what happened to companies just taking taking their time with the game instead of just rushing them like this so maybe this lesson will will help teach EA not to be greedy or may um, bring EA down for good I know a lot of people say they want EA to be brought down for me I say just let EA be EA just let them learn hopefully they can learn from this if they do, then that's great. But if not, they might just go out of business. I just, I like how they got the worst company of the year. I mean, worst, yeah, worst company of the year, two or three years in a row. And they, and they said, oh, we're gonna try to make our company better. We're not trying to get that award again. And look what happens. They fuck up and they do this shit again. It just feels like EA ruins every game. And I was just greedy. And now Dice is going to have a bad name because they they developed Battlefield 4, and people are going to look at it like, oh, Dice just rushed this game. Also, they probably just in it for the money. It sucks. I know it really does suck for Dice. Some people think it's like that. Some people won't think like that. But either way, it's still a bad sign for Dice. I mean, they they really are a good company. Battlefield. I mean, regular Battlefield series, Bad, Bad Company series, Mirror's Edge, now they're working on the Star Wars Battlefront. I mean, they're a good company. Of all these games, I have yet to be disappointed. Maybe, ex maybe except with the Battlefield series, but we all know who, who to blame most of that on. But really, it's, I feel sorry for DICE. I have to go through this. I have to go through all the trouble that EA is causing them. So maybe now, um, everything will be better and the uh, charters won't fully go through because they still need to have like a lead attorney I believe or a lead plaintiff before February so maybe the charges will be dropped maybe not but who knows only time will tell and that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe like me on Facebook to know what game recording next. Follow me on Twitter to know when I'll be live streaming this weekend. And please, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about EA doing this. So, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching again. And remember, stay safe.